Campaign season is heating up, and one local politician raising big money is Briar Sheriff Scott Israel, who's not even up for re-election until 2016. Bob has been following the money, and you won't believe who is listed as one of the sheriff's top donors. Here's Bob's report. The fancy cars rolled into the political fundraiser at Ron Bergeron's ranch in April. It's a fundraiser for the sheriff. It was all for a political committee supporting Broward Sheriff Scott Israel, the guest of honor at the secretive affair. What fundraiser? But now the committee's reports detailing the money collected have been disclosed, showing that in all $96,000 was raised for Israel. And leading the list was developer Yorm Itzak, who gave $5,000 personally, with another $15,000 coming from companies listed at his North Miami building. Mr. Itzak, hi. When I tried to say hello to Itzak, one of his cohorts spies the camera. Bob Norman, my name's Bob Norman. Grabs it with his hand and spins it away, then promptly accuses us of attacking him. Say where you are, why are you attacking people? For a law enforcement booster, Itzhak has had his share of controversy and trouble. Targeting a Miami-Dade County-based organized crime family called the Corporation. This is a press conference announcing the 2004 bust of the Corporation, or Cuban Mafia, a group allegedly involved in arson, cocaine trafficking, and even murder. Itzhak was allegedly involved in money laundering for the group and was indicted on racketeering and illegal gambling charges that were later dropped. He cooperated with the feds and pleaded guilty to tax evasion for a sentence of probation. A federal prosecutor later wrote that Itzhak wasn't involved in the criminal activity and wasn't aware money going into his businesses was coming from the Cuban mafia. In 2003, Itzhak was also convicted of trying to board a flight at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport with a loaded pistol. The Israeli-born Itzhak has purchased tens of millions of dollars worth of property in Broward. The big question here is why the sheriff would accept so much campaign money from a convicted felon. The fact that I didn't have this information is very troubling. In 2012, the Miami-Dade Commission loudly rejected Itzhak because of his past. One of the principals uh, in uh, the, this corporation uh, was convicted of tax evasion. The commission pulled a $3 million grant from a Liberty City shopping center development when it learned that Itzhak was involved. Because I, I really don't want to have my name on this. I wanted to ask Itzhak about that as well. You want to tell me what it's about? His um, financial contributions to the sheriff of Broward County, Scott Israel. I know nothing about that, but, uh, you know, make an appointment to call him. Okay. He'll be happy to talk to you, I'm sure. I did call Itzhak's office, and he didn't respond to my request for an interview, and neither did Sheriff Israel. But those requests still stand. Bob Norman. Local 10 News. The Politico Committee sent an email to Bob stating it was, quote, grateful for Itzhak's support, but late this afternoon, Itzhak's attorney claimed in an email that Itzhak had not given any money to the sheriff at all. Bob will continue sorting this one out.